Let's calculate the size of a credit shortage in the financial market depicted here where there happens to be a usury law stipulating that annual interest rates cannot be greater than 18%. Right? So again, the, this, this is essentially a price ceiling, right? The, the price happens to be an interest rate. And it, it, if there's a usury law saying you can't have an interest rate greater than, than 18%, that's essentially a price ceiling, right? And we see here that uh, where the demand for financial capital equals the supply of financial capital in this market, uh, that happens at an interest rate of 20%. So 20% would be the equilibrium interest rate in this market, <clears throat> right? Um, and with, a, with an 18% usury law, with, uh, with usury law saying that there is an 18% maximum, you, uh, ceiling on on, on, on on interest rates, that means that uh, this market is not going to be able to get up to the interest rate where it will tend towards in, in equilibrium. So this will be a binding uh, price ceiling. It will be a binding uh, usury law. And, and the, the interest rate would be 18%. And what that means is that the interest rate is going to be lower than what it would be in equilibrium. And that means that the quantity demanded and the quantity supplied are not going to be equal. In fact, the quantity demanded will be greater than the quantity supplied. And what that means, whenever the quantity demanded is greater than the quantity supplied, that means we have a shortage. So yes, we do have, we will have a credit shortage where, where people are going to want to borrow more money than what people have available to lend, right? Um, and the size of the shortage, well, it's equal to the quantity demanded minus the quantity supplied. And we can see that the quantity demanded is $16 trillion worth of financial capital. While the quantity supplied, looking at the supply curve at 18%, the quantity supplied is going to be $9 trillion worth of financial capital. And so it's going to be 16 minus $9 trillion. So that means that the size of the credit shortage will be $7 trillion, all because of this usury law that's making interest rates two percentage points below what they would be in equilibrium. All right, thank you for watching.